How's it going? It's been a long time, but I'm back from a hiatus and only for one reason. This motherfucker is Soldier Boy. I was waiting for a while to see Bite actually, you know, think about what he was saying lately about how he is supposed to be the best, how he's supposed to come back with a, you know, he's supposed to be the best a rapper alive now, or how he was the father of like hip hop now, or something like that. But, you know, honestly, we gotta talk about how this guy ain't shit, you know? Let's start off with the first point. He is the father of mumble rap. However, mumble rap does not take any talent or skill at all. Anybody can do it. Actually, a matter of fact, he's so washed up, washed up and played out, he's been trying to do it. And people just haven't even given recognition for it. Obviously, they don't really think it's that special. You know, it's like a meme. A meme is only funny for the first two weeks. Which is why he will never, he will never become what he says he is. He ne- he'll never become the biggest act of 2019 or anything like that. I'm not saying that I'm hating on him. However, this guy is a joke. You know, listen to his songs lately. All of those songs, you know, he says he has his own flow or that people are stealing his flow. He sounds exactly like everyone else who's, who's been out for a while. For me, it just seems like he, he was scared to come out whenever Takashi 6 9 was out because he knew that Takashi 6 9 had a bigger stage presence than him. Once the big fish was out of the water, once he was thrown in jail, he's like, all right, I'm gonna come back and try my trolling bit. And the fact of the matter is, with the Gossip 6 9 people were laughing with him. With Soldier Boy, people were laughing at him. Like, he is the butt of the joke. And so let's bring up to my next point. What, why is he always begging for recognition? Like, if he actually was something, or he, if he had something going for him, and why would you need to say any? Why would you need to constantly bark, but, you know, all bark, you know, why are you always going to talk about it or yell about what you deserve and that you need recognition? You know, like, that clear, that proves that you just ain't shit. And also with your game consoles, his game consoles are ass. They're, they're terrible. Every single console that he's put out has been a knockoff version of uh, Nintendo or like some sort of bootleg ROM that you can get from AliExpress for a third of the price. He's nothing but a fraud. Only reason people actually are like, you know, hyping him up now is because mumble rap is a thing now and he's claiming it like he created it. Technically, I think Future created it. Future and 2 Chains and like Gucci Mane were like the first mumble rappers that I think produced, that even were before Soldier Boy. So Soldier Boy doesn't even have that title in my opinion. And yes, he has been on online, like the internet rapper. However, he puts out a million songs, and they're all garbage. You, you can only think of only one of his songs actually out of the... He always claims that he has the most songs ever. Or like, he made... Oh, I made so many mixtape after mixtape. You know, he just cares about quantity instead of quality. Same with his consoles. All he cares about is basically the number of consoles that he sold, not the quality of them. So that's why... They're all garbage. You know, like everything he puts out is garbage. Only reason why he has long that he's actually, you know, getting, you know, a little bit of clout now is because he's the butt of another joke. Like how he was last year when he was being pushed around in the streets. Say he was tough, you know, but he's just nothing but a dancing dancing idiot, you know. And I'm sorry to basically if you're a Soldier Boy fan, I'm sorry to bash you, your your idol like this. But please do better, you know. Anybody can do what Soldier Boy does. So there's nothing to be proud of there. He should the only reason why people I think are actually rooting him for him now or like well chanting him now is because it's just another joke to make fun of. You know. I think he's gonna be around by two months from now. No, he's already started dropping off. You haven't heard he was in every interview like Breakfast Club, he was going to complex, he was going to everything. And now he pretty much is like, you haven't heard from him in like weeks. Which means that basically he was just like another cash grab that someone just saw. You know, and see, let's just... Oh, also he was signed. He was signed. I forget how much money he got. But to me, it just sounds like that's just like 
when you get signed, it's like someone's way to like challenge you. It's someone's way to get you out of the, or get you quiet or shut you up because, you know, obviously he hasn't been, have no buzz lately. And whenever they don't, they notice that he's not really making any, anything out of it, you know, he's under contract. He can't just put out music, out, music when he feels like it or he can't just be out there doing what he wants to. Once he's signed to a label, he has to uphold his image. So to me, it just sounds like, you know, they saw he was acting a fool with the games and, and these, this uh, new wave of trying to, like, become the top rapper of 2019 or whatever, 2018, whatever you said. And so they're just probably smart and thinking, okay, this guy, we need to get him out, get him out of the way. And so they silenced him by giving him the record deal and his clout. He got all his clout and everything, but clearly he ain't happy or else he'd be, he wouldn't be, you know... You know, always trying to like get recognition. He's not happy. So anyway, this is just my roast, not my roast, but my analysis of that idiot. And that it, this is one thing, one of those things that will actually make me come out of hiatus.